We've talked about teachers and the vaccine for months. Finally, though, the time has come this week. Teachers are expected to get the COVID-19 vaccine in Salt Lake County. Here to tell us more, Jeff Haney, Director of Communications from Canyon School District. Jeff, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me on. An exciting week for, for teachers in our state. Can we start with how confident you are these vaccines really are ready for teachers? The timeline has moved in the past. How confident are you that we're going to get rolling this week? Well, first up, Sarah, we're incredibly grateful for the fast track of the timeline. In Canyons District, we are mobilizing quickly to ensure that all eligible employees are provided the opportunity to partic participate in the vaccination clinics. We fully expect to be able to start in just a few days. All hands are on deck in this effort to start immediately. Now, we're not expecting a change to this, but we have a plan in place if we have to, but we really fully do expect to start in just a few days. It really feels good to be this optimistic about vaccines at this point. It feels like I'm really happy that teachers are so close to getting them. What does the rollout plan look like? What should teachers be looking out for kind of in their inboxes to make sure that they, they get their appointments? Right, so based on the recommendations from health authorities, um, the vaccines will be provided to oldest employees first. Each week, we will extend an invitation to eligible employees in descending age order, and that will be dependent on the number of doses provided by the health department every week. Okay, and then I understand that community nursing services are gonna be kind of setting up the actual clinics that teachers will be welcome to attend, is that right? That is true, and we will be providing assistance with our own staff and our school nurses also will be available for watching those employees for any aftermath or any effects uh, of the vaccine after people receive their doses. Got it. Okay, what a, what a year for school nurses. These, these heroes are, you know, working on the front lines in our schools. What does this mean for, for in-person learning for you guys? How are you going to be able to kind of modify your response plan to COVID-19 because the vaccine exists in your, in your district? Right, so the vaccination clinics will be held after contract hours. So it wouldn't directly impact instruction on an, when we hold our clinics. But, you know, we told our employees on Friday that we would begin our vaccination clinics as soon as this week. And as you can probably expect, the response was overwhelmingly positive. Okay, great. That was my next question. Can we talk about the response? Do you have a sense for how many of your teachers and school staff are willing to get the vaccine at this point? Right. So immediately before the winter recess, we conducted a survey of all our employees to find out who planned to participate in our vaccination clinic. And a, a response to the survey in the affirmative basically reserved a dose. At the end of the survey window, we had about 88% of those who responded said they attended to participate in the district's vaccination clinic. There was about a 73% response rate to this survey. So overwhelmingly, the Canyons District employees said they wanted to participate in the vaccination clinics. Great news. All right, Jeff Haney from the Canyons District, thank you so much for all this information. We'll be checking in with you soon, I'm sure, to get more info. Thanks so much for your hard work. Thank you.